Here's a walkthrough of the schematic for this yellow traffic light. Um, you get the AC coming in here, goes through some, uh, some filtering and some chokes. Uh, there's a common mode choke and some filters. Goes up the diode bridge, we've got a few more caps and then that makes the main 85 volt, sorry, 95 volt bus. This section here, these TVS are actually part of the transformer circuit. Um, so anyways, mains comes in, filters and chokes, diode bridge, and some caps on the DC side. This is what the LED array looks like. So you get the high voltage DC used about 85 volts. There is a V plus uh, test point down here and it goes into a bank of five LEDs, which is connected in series with every other bank of five LEDs from top to bottom. So any individual LED burning out, it's not gonna shut anything down. You have to have all five die in the same bank before it would stop working. Okay, so LEDs come down and then you've got resistor A and resistor B, which are these over here, um, that one and that one. So those are the current limiting for this. And we do have a test point VN, I guess that's volt negative. Um, so that comes out the, the piggy board junction and goes in the powered factor chip. Here's the variable load section. So um, you've got you know the, the positive voltage coming in, you've got the large resistor here, and then you've got a biasing resistor, and then you've got a way to control it um, either from, uh, from that op amp. So, uh, sorry, from either the op amp here, which goes to that transistor, or from zero current detect. Here's the transformer circuit. So we've got the DC plus and it goes to the MOSFET. These are just all in parallel. Uh, you've got the output, the high voltage for the LED array. And you've got the zero current detect just coming off another uh, secondary coil here between there and ground. Um, this Q2, uh, that's brought out from the piggy board and it can go up and that will shut off Q3. Uh, so we'll go and look at Q3, uh, which is the uh, 15 volt DC bus, like the secondary DC voltage. Um, so you've got the 98 volts coming in. You've got a voltage divider here with essentially 255 ohms and a 1K. And you've got a Zener right here. Um, so if you would turn Q3 on or off, then you make or don't make your secondary voltage. Um, and these uh, these two resistors are the two large ones right here. Okay, power factor controller. Uh, this one was uh, a lot going on, um, but it's the central brain of the system. You've got the DC volt coming in. Um, it's got an input compensation. It's got uh, multiplier input, which tells it how much output to make, because in its essence, it feels like it's really just a voltage regulator. You've got a current sense input. You've got zero current detect input, um, ground. You've got the drive output, which goes to the um, goes to this MOSFET right here to turn the transformers on and off. Um, and you've got voltage feedback from the uh, from the LED array from that two volt down at the bottom. Okay, and then you've got the op amp, it's dual op amp. Um, and it's basically using it to drive the LED switch, the uh, variable load section, uh, based on you know, the input compensation and the voltage coming in here. So, and there's just some of the measurements that I took. So, all right, that's the schematic.